when I heard the song, I was like, wow, this is so sweet of the people that they are making their own song in Munich about their favorite bakery here. Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hi everyone. How are you doing? I hope you're doing okay because I am just not. It's really gray. It's really cold. It's really snowy. And this weather has me so not motivated you guys unmotivated demotiviert today's video is going to be about funny things i say in german that are mostly wrong uh. living in germany learning german as most of you guys know because a lot of people that watch my videos are learning german aside from all you weird german people that like to know about germany through my eyes but for all the other people that are interested in Germany, this video, hopefully you'll get a laugh out of it and you'll understand where I'm coming from. This is also for anyone that is learning any other language and makes mistakes like these. The first one, you guys, I was typing one time in like WhatsApp and someone was asking me about a bone or something and I typed in knöchelns with an N and an S. In the United States in English, usually we just add, if you want to make something plural, you add like an IES or an S. And I do that very often in Germany. When I'm speaking German, I add an S to something to make it plural. And that's not always the case here. Knöchelns is not a word. So knöchel is a word. Without an N, without an S, that is a word. And the next one I said in my last video, I think about German brands or American brands that Germans pronounce right. I don't remember which video it was. But I said in that video that I cannot pronounce Blumen correctly. A bunch of people tried to help me in how I would say it. And for me, Blumen sounds the same if I say Blumen and Blumen. I don't hear it, you guys. And everyone thinks that it's so cute how I say it and so funny when I'm speaking. And German people are like, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Yes, you guys, just laugh at me. Just make fun of me. The next one is going to be when I was laying in bed one time. I asked Mike to please um, cover me up with a blanket. Instead, my brain, I was really tired, so I wasn't thinking correctly. And I said, wickel mich. Mike starts busting out laughing. I'm like, why is that so funny? He's like, you want me to change your diaper? And I'm like, what? And then I was supposed to say, wickel mich ein, which means like cover me up or wrap me up or something. And wickel mich means that you want to change someone's diaper. So I've said wickel mich so often to people, you guys, when I'm just like um, joking around. I've said it to many people and I'm just like, these people probably think I'm such a weirdo saying please change my diaper and they're like what the hell is wrong with this american crazy girl now that i know what i'm really saying or what i really did say i'm like Ugh, i can never speak to these people ever again the next one is also going to be a long story you guys so sit and strap yourselves in i went to oktoberfest i want to say like two years ago two not three two beforehand i did a bunch of research on german wiesen hits i googled i spotified i pandored i did everything i looked up the greatest München Bavarian Wiesen Hits of 2015 or 16 or when wann immer das war and then I did that and I basically knew a bunch of songs all the main ones Tzicki 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 or whatever they sing I don't know I just knew them then and I had a little bit of an idea of what I was getting myself into when it came to singing but there was one song that I did not hear or when I did listen to it I thought they were saying something totally different than what they were actually meaning. So I went to the table that I was sitting at and I didn't know three of the people at the table, but we were friends for the day. They're like my BFFs because during October Pest, you're best friends with everyone. And the girl and I, we were singing the songs and then the song came on that I guess was confused about. I was sitting there with all my glory and happiness singing this song as loud as I can and I was like When I heard the song I was like wow this is so sweet of the people that they are making their own song in Munich about their favorite bakery here. They love bread and they make a song about it. I said that is so sweet while i was yelling not even singing i was drunk and yelling the song the girl next to me she looks at me and she's like was singst du denn eigentlich yeah the song blah 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 and she's like so geht das nicht and i'm like what do you mean it doesn't go like that but are you sure 
And then she showed me the song, she put the song on her phone, and it's called Griechische Wein. Greek wine is not the same as a bakery. And I just was so embarrassed, you guys, because I literally was screaming that song out from my windpipes. You guys think that it's just a walk in the park for me, but I try to keep these stories under wraps because I have a bunch, but I'm letting you guys know them, letting you guys see a part of me that I feel bring us closer together. <laughs> the next one is going to be a Beleidig Wurst. Wurst, 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 I can't say Wurst. I say that to everyone. I say that to little kids. I say that to grown people. I say that to animals that are mean. I say that to everything. I call everyone a beleidigt Wurst. That means that they are just an insulted... What is an animal with an eye? An insulted eagle. Eagle as in German, not in English because they're two different animals. Leid Wurst means like when someone's insulted or is upset that you said something mean and they're just like, <laughs> I thought it was really a word. I thought you could really say it to someone, but then Mike was like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, that's what I say. And he's like, that's not what you say to people. The next one is going to be a autocorrect slash Siri um, failure. One day I was typing and I was typing too fast and I was ty typing stinkt here because like it or not, that's one of the most used word, most used words in my German iPhone vocabulary dictionary and I put stinkt here and I went too fast in the recommended words that they have at the top I clicked twice so it put two extra words in the word for me and I sent the word off on accident and what the word was was stinkt hier Rasenfresser and I was so embarrassed because I sent it to Mike I didn't mean to and he's like what are you talking about and I'm like it was Siri I just have this long going thing I think for a year now it just stays there you guys because it's just one of those things that I'm so used to and it's an insult for me. Well, an insult, like it's a funny insult that you say to someone and Mike and I, we use it with each other. Like if we're trying to be dumb or something to one another, we say, oh, you're a stinktier Rasenfresser. And then we both bust out laughing because we think it's ridiculous and hilarious. But that's gonna be a new word in the duden. Just wait for it. Hashtag stinktier Rasenfresser. The last one, you guys, the one that has confused me the most and still does and I still do it wrong and I'll never get it right because it's embedded in my brain. I heard a long time ago someone say something and they called someone something and I thought it was really funny and I don't know how I got to the other one or how I got this correlation between the two but I say Arsch Pfeife. That's not what I want to mean or I say Pfeife Gesicht. And I don't know where these two compound words come from because I technically wanted to say Arschgesicht, but instead I randomly thought of Arschpfeife and Pfeifgesicht. And those, they're supposed to be insults because an Arschgesicht is an insult. Well, it's like not really an insult. I don't really say anything horrible to people, you guys. It's not like I'm calling them a Arschloch. I say stuff like Arschgesicht or does anybody else? I'm pretty sure I've heard this somewhere, you guys. I couldn't have pulled it out of the air and made it into a word. I seriously, if you have heard this somewhere else, please let me know so I'm not crazy because I honestly swear that I've heard either Pfeifgesicht or Arschpfeife before. And if not, then I'm just making up new words left and right here and do need to start paying me a salary because German profi. What a so anywho you guys, thank you so much for watching, that was it. I've done enough of embarrassing myself. <sighs> I'm working on it. I promise you guys my German is improving from those days. Maybe you have something that ties in or maybe is similar to what I'm dealing with right now. And you can leave it below in the comments, but uh, until then you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful day and stay warm. Bye bye.